Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Hello, my name is Requiem. I'll be here to help you with the download and installation of the Rise of Flight client. As you can see, we're at the Rise of Flight Try It Now page, which is where you can download the client for Rise of Flight. We have three options for this download. You can either download off the site or you can use the torrent. I'm just going to download off the site. So after we click the download link, we get the pop-up. We just hit save and then we'll come back to it once we've uh, finished downloading the file. Now the file we're downloading is a zip file, so find where you saved it and then you can extract it to somewhere of your choice. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop to make it easier to delete once I'm finished. So we extract, then click desktop and then OK. This extraction process can take a while, so we'll come back to it once it's completed. Now that our extraction is finished, we will locate the folder to where we extracted it to, which was on the desktop. So we click the desktop, and then we double click the folder icon, and then we can see setup.exe, so you can double click that or you can run as administrator. And doing so we will begin the installation, but before we continue we have to look at some critical points regarding this. The first note is for Windows Vista and Windows 7 users only, you must disable UAC during installation, but then you can turn it on after the install is complete. Secondly, you should install these Microsoft libraries even if you think you already have them installed on your system. Doing so will not harm your computer or any other games you own that use these libraries, but it will ensure that you have the proper files necessary to run ROF successfully. Not installing these libraries is the most common mistake made by new ROF users. And finally, DirectX must be installed and updated for Rise of Flight to run correctly, even if you think you have the latest version. Now we're back to our installation, so we just choose our language. And then we continue on to accept the licensing agreement. Now we can choose whatever installation directory we want to. I'm just going to stick with the default. Then after this we pick what components of Rise of Flight we want to install. We have the base game and the mission editor and the skin viewer. So I'm going to go with all three. So with those components selected we just follow our prompts and then we can let the installation begin. The installation will take some time so we'll come back to it once it's complete. Okay our installation is almost complete. Now that it's done we're going to get a new pop-up box. Now we need to ensure that all these checkboxes are checked to ensure a correct installation. Because as you recall, there were those critical points that included DirectX needing to be updated and installed, as well as the Microsoft libraries. So again, we ensure all these options are checked, we click finish, and that will initiate all these installations in sequence. So first up is the Microsoft libraries installation. This part of the installation can take some time, so I'll sped it up for the purpose of this video, and then once it's finished, we'll be presented with DirectX. Now with our libraries installed, DirectX now pops up and then we make sure to accept the agreement and then continue with the installation for it. DirectX also takes a while to update so we'll come back to it once it's complete. Once DirectX completes its installation we'll be presented with the Adobe Reader installation. Now the Adobe Reader is optional but it is required to read certain documents such as the user manual so it's a good idea to install it if you already do not have it on your system. If you need the latest version, it can be found at the Adobe website. Once the Adobe Reader is finished installing, that means Rise of Flight is now completely installed and good to go. So we'll conclude by looking at my desktop. So here's my desktop with the new Rise of Flight icon. This is the icon you will be using to run the game. Double clicking this icon will bring up the Rise of Flight launcher. And this is what I'll cover in the next video, along with the game settings, updating your Rise of Flight client, and how to register your free-to-play or retail version of Rise of Flight.